Hello, everyone. This is Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube. First of all, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribers, the comments, and all the love. I really feel like this is my new home, even though the welcome wagon lady still has not shown up, but that's okay. In the meantime, just it's, it's been wonderful. So, and while we're at it, if you haven't hit a like, why don't you hit a like? Come on, you can do it. I'll wait. There. Thank you. Oh, and while you're there, if you haven't subscribed, there you go. Yep, that's what you press. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Moving on. First of all, I do want to get a little serious here. Really. The news cycle these days are like lightning, literally in a flash. However, please do not forget the people of Maui. They still need your help. They still need your love. They still need prayers. They need most benevolent outcomes. They need your help. So as I've said in the past, these people open up their hearts to everyone. So it's time we open up our hearts to them. So please continue saying prayers. And if you can donate, to a reputable charity, please do so. Even if it's the $1.95 or whatever, you're going to help someone. And in the meantime, you'll feel better about it, okay? I mean, they're finding more bodies every day. You hear about the stories of the people that have passed. All we can do is pray for them and hope the journey to the next level is successful, okay? So enough about that. In the meantime... You know, as psychics, sometimes, yeah, we get things wrong. Believe me, people remind us. But sometimes we get things right. And so when that happens, we remind you. We're going to call this section Bragging Rights. <laughs> During Deanne Shield Maiden's Tarot, August 8th show, Deanne forecasted Trump's Georgia indictment in nine days. I foresaw eight. It unfolded in seven days. Now, I would have been right if Bonnie Willis had waited till midnight, but she released it at 11 o'clock. So I was off by an hour. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a win-win. Okay? We won. We got it. Now, if we got that right, then you know we're getting all the other stuff right. And that man's going down in flames. I mean, let's face it, he already canceled. Um, he's not going to the Republican debates and all the other stuff. Now, I did have a question about Georgia and all the stuff that that man has been stirring, all the trouble. It's about the fact that people are doxing or do whatever the word is, doc doxing, the jury members, the 23 jury members, unfortunately, by Georgia law, they were listed in page nine of the indictment. By the way, I, the indictment's below if you want to read it. So 23 people and their families are now being threatened or will about to be threatened. Their names have been released. The MAGA people do what MAGA people do. They're releasing their addresses. Now, when I meditated on this last night, I actually felt most will be safe. Some may have to temporarily leave, but we're talking about people with families and kids. I mean, they were just doing their civic duty, but they're taking it one step too far. Unfortunately, I do feel that someone will get a knock on the door and be threatened. However, the police are going to step in they're going to arrest them, and it's going to be like a chain gang of people getting arrested. This has got to stop, and I believe because of this, some laws are about to be changed regarding doxing, because it's basically cyber stalking. And the one behind all of this is Humpty Trumpty, who's lighting the gasoline every day with his social media. And the fact that he's now calling Fonnie Willis. A rigger, that's right, rigger, 
It's so original. Um, I mean, he's a racist person. We know that. And this is the person we really want running our country. I don't think so. But anyway, I really think, I really feel things are going to catch up to him. Now, the more he does, the more his mag people listen to him, it's going to get crazy. But Bonnie Willis has asked for a march for, for her to start. Now, there's another question about Bonnie Willis that I got from LH. Hi, Arthur. Georgia passed a law to allow the removal of an elected district attorney. Will Fonnie Willis be removed from her position because of this power grab? I mean, on the surface, it looks like yes, but in actuality, I get it. I'll tell you what. Even though I have written some stuff down, even though Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed the bill to make it possible to oust elected district attorneys from office if they believe they're not doing an adequate job. Everyone knows this is basically a thinly veiled power grab to push out Democrat prosecutors, including some who say they would not prosecute abortion related crimes. So the thing is, this does not take effect until July 2024. So if Bonnie Willis can get things started in March, March, April, May, June, July, She'll be well underway. I don't see how they'd be able to oust her without causing a lot of problems and lawsuits and all the other stuff. So anyway, in this commission that Brian Kemp wants to create, it's like an eight person, here it is, an eight person commission with that'll consist of five member committee that can investigate district attorneys and a three member hearing panel. So a total of eight people. But the commissioner's team will formally begin July 2024, the same month that complaints can then start being filed. And of course, the members will all be appointed by Republicans. So Cal Surprise. And the, the new law is also being said to target Deborah Gonzalez. She's a Democrat who adopted a number of criminal justice reforms, including not charging and prosecuting for simple mar marijuana possession, and also has said that she would not prosecute abortion-related crimes. So the Republicans are very upset, so that's why they're doing what they're doing. However, it's not going to last. These are public officials that have been elected there's going to be backlash, just like there's going to be backlash from Ron, don't say gay to Satan, when he ousted people that were elected officials in Florida that were Democrats. It's going to all turn around and bite them, believe me. And this is where I have three words to say to everybody here. Vote, vote, vote. I'm going to repeat that. Vote, vote vote it's as simple as that you do have the power so take advantage of it use it while they may try to abuse it you're going to use it okay enough of that and also oh by the way the first question that was asked was actually from angelic academy 888 said thank you arthur for your humor and gifts my pleasure can you please read into the threats to the Georgia grand jury since the orange Mussolini reposted information from far right websites on his social platform about Georgia grand jury participants? Will the orange Mussolini face any sort of legal liability, especially since he is out on bail for his other indictments? Well, yes, and no, but I do. Like I said, I know people are, are definitely going to get in trouble for this. Now, will he get in trouble for this? I want to say yes, and but you may not see it right away. Now, if you recall that huh, Judge Chutkin admonished his attorneys 
and said if Trump continues to threaten, she will be inclined to set an early trial date. Now, they're having a meeting on Monday, August 28th to set the trial date. Now, as you know, Jack, Jack Smith, our wonderful Jack Smith, he put in for January 2nd. Mr. Trump, he just put in for, drumroll, April 2026. Like that's going to happen. Now, if it was Judge Cannon, oh yeah, I'm sure that would happen. But it's not Judge Cannon. It's, we're talking about Judge Chutkin, who is no nonsense. In fact, one of the MAGA people actually went after her. And I wrote down the quote. She called her office. You can tell she's a Rhodes Scholar. Spelled R-O-A-D. Um, called her and said, we're coming to kill you. You are a stupid slave. Hmm. A federal judge. Thank you very much. She was arrested. Again, she's from Texas. Again, Cal Surprise. So anyway, so things are going... I feel the jurors do have quote-unquote angels around them. I do feel that they will be protected. I do feel that Mr. Trump, the more he does to egg people on, that Judge Chutkin is not going to... She's not going to take it. She's already warned them. So will be if this goes to January 2nd, you know she's really been ticked off. So we'll take it from there. Because the thing is, it's one thing about having you know the speedy, what is it called? The speed trial act. But it's not just for them, it's for us, for we the people. Because if he's out on bail or doing whatever he's doing, and they allow him to go to 2026, what is the damage this man's gonna do between now and then before he goes to trial? It ain't going to happen. Okay? So, in fact, Trump filed something <laughs> with Judge Cannon. Remember her? Overruled twice by the 11th, 11th District for bending the rules? Well, he sent her a notice begging, basically, to run interference. He's like trying to pit Judge Cannon against Judge Chutkin, this ain't no reality show. You can't write the script. There's no re besides there's a writer strike. So Trump is not going to get what he wants. Now, who cares what Eileen Cannon does anymore? Because we know that Jack and Fonnie Willis, their cases are solid. They're moving forward. So she's going to be at the tail end, whatever she does. But if he's already been found guilty and, you know, is getting measures for a jumpsuit, then it's it's bye-bye, okay? And I don't see her career lasting long. I really, really don't. Maybe she'll get a job on Fox News. Who knows? Or just Fox. So there you go. That's what I'm picking up around that. I mean... Calling a judge a stupid slave and calling Bonnie Willis and this judge a rigor? Oh, my God. I mean, this is bad. So I'm sorry, people. It's bad. Now, Marianne Z, hi. She asks, when will other people involved in the coup be held accountable? Matt Gates, Jim Jordan? Marjorie Taylor Greene, Loam Bobart, Ted Cruz. There are so many. Thank you for your videos. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, first of all, Matt Gates, that boy's in trouble. I mean, he's filing he, to go against the judge, Judge Chuckin, to get her thrown off the case or whatever it is. It ain't going to happen. Anything these people are doing, it's going to come and bite them big time. You know, Margie Taylor Green, aka Little Clovenhose, she's they're all digging their own graves. Lauren Bobart, well, she's not gonna last. She ain't getting reelected. Jim Jordan, I love it. Somebody spelled it Jim Jordan. G Y M Jordan. Jim Jordan. 
Um, these people are lying. These people are lying their asses off. Oops, sorry, potty mouth sighted. These people are just going nuts because they don't have anything. You know, if I hear the name Hunter Biden one more time, remind me when he ran for public office. Remind me when he did what he was supposed to do. Remind me what Maggie Taylor Green did and when is she going to get arrested or get in big trouble for the D pics that she posted on her media in her emails and held up in Congress. Come on. These people have no decorum. It reminds me of, remember, during the communist witch hunt back in the 50s when the gentleman stood up and said have you no decency well to quote that have you no decency i mean when they write history about all of this the writer strike should be over and i really hope it's like shows them all in a clown car and it's like the gang that couldn't shoot straight and it's going to be some hilarious movie with the soundtrack from Benny Hill. That's what these people are. Okay? They're clowns. And who wants to wear clowns? I know people that are afraid of clowns. Anyway. Oh, and the other day somebody said to me, do you think Trump will have a library? Does he read? Yeah, it'd be Playboys, Penthouse, and a coloring book with Ronald McDonald. I said that somewhere else before, but seriously, it's nuts. Um, let's see here. Denise Marie. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for your thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Anytime. Do you see Hurricane Hillary bring a lot of flooding and damaging winds to South, Southern California, South Cal California? Mm, yes. But the thing is, we're prepared. I mean, I just got on my, on my, on my text from the city officials that, you know, be prepared. Tropical Storm Hillary's on its way. And unfortunately, when these things happen, there's always one or two people that it doesn't apply to them. And they're the ones that are being airlifted out of crazy places. But I'm not really seeing a lot of craziness here. Yes, people have to be prepared. I do see some low flooding in low places. But I'm not really feeling like houses falling off cliffs due to mudslides and stuff like that. I mean, we already survived what they call the ast astrospheric rivers or whatever it was. We just didn't stop raining here. I mean, the only good thing about this is today I went to get my car washed and I realized, why? I can just leave it outside for 10 minutes to, uh, over the weekend. So anyway, so yes, I have a note here too, like somewhere. I do have a brain, people. I'm not Ray Bolger from The Wizard of Oz, even though I met him a number of times and he's a wonderful person. Uh, yeah, he'll... Hurricane Hillary, now a Category 4. It's off of the Baja California Peninsula. It is going to make its way to the Pacific Coast. However, by the time it gets to land, it's going to be a tropical storm. That's all. But tropical storms still bring rain. And they're predicting that the rain will not only go all through like San Diego, Orange County, Riverside, Los Angeles. Then it's going to go through Arizona and Nevada. So be prepared. I mean, whatever is happening, you always need to be prepared. I mean, I have a, a backpack here in case there's an earthquake, but I think the food's expired because it's been there a long time. Even though they're Twinkies. But yeah, the last time there was a tropical storm like this and to hit California was in 1939. Now, the reason why it's happening is the Gulf Coast, the Atlantic, that water is warm. That feeds a hurricane. On the West Coast, the water is not so warm. I mean, in Venice Beach and stuff, the water is 60 degrees. 
And the more north you go, the colder it gets. So it makes sense that it's in the Mexico area, but then as soon as it starts traveling north, it dissipates. So get your umbrella, get your slickers, get your little booties for your dog. You have to take him for a walk. It's going to be all right. Okay. So that answers that question. Let's see here. Moving along. John Holden, thank you for sharing your gifts and humor anytime. What do you think about the repugs debate and small t rump doing an interview with Tucker Carlson instead? Also, you said you're in Los Angeles, so please stay safe with the massive rain predicted to do so, Hillary. Thank you for that. As far as Trump doing the interview with Carlson, I don't know where they're going to air it. It's not going to be on Fox. And I also feel that there's some people that are going to try and stop it. And as far as the debate with the Republicans, now that's going to be a mudslide. And it has nothing to do with Hurricane Hillary, okay? It's, it's, it, I mean, it's a joke. And Trump looks at them as they're all inviting to be his VP. Heaven help us. So I did get a hit that it's not going to happen, but Chris Christie is the only one that's basically, you know, saying the Amber has no, is, is naked. He has no new clothes. He's, there's no clothes on his man. And he's the only one that's telling the truth on about it. Everyone else is like, well, do they really need the MAGA people that much to vote? Well, that's right. They do vote more than, twice, more than once or twice. They were arrested for it. Well, no Democrat was, but Republicans were. So I don't know. This is going to be fun. So maybe we'll find out more on Monday. In fact, I'll be doing a show with Deanne from Shield Maiden Tarot on Monday. So stop by. Maybe we'll pick some stuff up there because we were right before. Maybe we'll be right again. So that's kind of what I'm getting here, people. Now, someone said that they wish my feeds were longer. My shows were longer. Send more questions. It'll be longer. It's easy. Yeah, come on. You can do it. In the meantime, just take care of you. Take care of others. Take care of the people in Maui. And most of all, send as much love and light to the MAGA people because they need it. In fact, I was telling a friend the other day, I look at the MAGA people and think, if there's reincarnation, that's the upgrade? <laughs> anyway, that being said, stay safe, stay warm, stay dry and we're going to have fun. All right. So thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Bye-bye.